Okay, so today training will be on objections, you know? What do we do when, um, you know, people get the objections, you know? And uh, I'm telling you what, on my whole career in this industry, um, the most objection that I had, the most two common questions that I, common uh, answers or uh, objections that I get from people, it's uh, that uh, they don't have the time and they don't have the money or it's too expensive. So either way, what most of the people do when they hear that, they start to tell them how, you know, you know, it's what you're doing is not working or, you know, they make the first, the person that you're speaking with feel bad, which you're not supposed to do. So what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to immediately, you know, associate yourself with your prospect and say, yes, I know exactly what, what you mean. I've been there. I felt the same. I know exactly, but I find something that changed the way I was, um, I, I was doing things. So now the person feels a little bit better because, you know, it's, uh, you associate yourself. You show that, you, you know, you have to, to show them that, yes, you were there, you studied the same way, but now you got something better. And what you got, it's, that's what you're going to show them. So most of, the, most of the time, you know, people try to convince the prospects like, hey, you have to do this business because of this reason, this reason, this reason. It's not the case. You know, we have here uh, next to me, Wes, which in Dallas, he pretty much signed up himself without right. us even, you know, I was with Andesh and Wes, and he asked what we're doing. We gave him the product. We were at the same table and he just went in and signed up without, we didn't, you, you can't, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. Like you cannot say the right thing to the, to the, to the wrong person. So people try to convince, do not convince. Most what you think to convince, this is a convincing business, but the convincing is to be done to yourself. You need to convince yourself that what you do, it's what you really, you know, believe in. You need to show conf confidence. You need to, once you have posture, confidence, people feel that, you know, if you do not have that, they, 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 they feel you and it's not gonna, um, it's, it's not gonna, you know, you're gonna, they're gonna feel it and they're gonna ask you questions. You don't know what to answer and the prospect is gone. It's burned and uh, you have a prospect that is not, uh, uh, not there. But if you have confidence, if you have posture, and um, I learned that from um, our CEO and founder, Mr. Anders Carlson, no matter what the person says, no matter, and I've been with him in so many countries, in so many places, so many meetings, so many sit downs, so many one-on-one, -on -one, so many cold meetings, like people didn't know why they were there for, and, you know, after they talk to him and everything, and, you know, he never, never, never give a person a link to sign up. He waits until the person is asking for it, you know, but it does such a great presentation that the person automatically asks for it. And one time I asked him, so what do you do when you don't get the link? That means that I, it means that I didn't make a, a good presentation. That means that I need to go back and maybe explain for for the prospect so you know because bottom line folks it's you know if you would know what i know after traveling with andish after one year and also you can say the same thing you know because people will say yes but you know how do i do that you know and if you actually tell them like listen if i can explain you with the right wording and the right so you can understand because maybe sometimes you feel like you don't explain it the right way then the if you if you would know what i know you should have already been in right now because this is how much i believe in this is how much confident i'm in this business and this is what most people don't do people don't actually are convinced themselves and what they do, they try to convince other people, which you're not supposed to do, because a mind that is not convinced on their own, 
at the end of the presentation, guess what? They still gonna do what their first opinion was. So you have to perfectly explain or you have to perfectly make it sounds like the is the opportunity or the product of the lifetime so that the person becomes uh, curious and becomes so savvy to join and so you know excited about the opportunity or the product because they they will they would actually you know ask you for the link ask you to join and and be in the business and you want to work with those kind of people that actually join your business you know by themselves not people that you know are there because you convince them because you you actually uh, you know tell them to join and then you know they're still not going to do nothing you know and um, another thing when you when you sit down the prospects and and you have uh, this confidence and this posture and for example how many times it happens like you go there and somebody kind of pretty much let you know that listen i only have 7 minutes to talk to you about about the presentation so then what you need to do you know very cool and very you know uh, super um, you know you know sure for what you have you just say okay what do you want to talk you want to talk about football ice hockey um, you know movies whatever it was like well well you're supposed to show me the presentation yeah but my presentation it takes longer you know so if you don't have time we can do it another time it's fine you know I know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. And when you're ready, you know, people will be there when they're ready. People will, you know. So if you if you show them that you you are there, and then you know, they're gonna pretty much gonna insist at that point, like you need to tell me the presentation, okay? Because they realize, you know, the fear of loss, you know, triggers in. And then they become like, oh my God, why is this person don't tell me now? Why is not jumping on me? Because I was supposed to be the, you know, the, the prospect and everything. But it's not like that. So with, um, with, with having that confidence and everything, then almost at the end of your presentation, the prospect should ask for your link by themselves. You don't need to push them. You don't need to... Um, you know, be, you know, giving away anything, just they want to join a business, they want to join a team and, and start the business together with you. Um, also, to, to master this uh, tag team, um, you know, even better, um, I would totally, totally recommend for you to read the book, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People by uh, Dale Carnegie. It's, um, it's, it's very, very important book. One of the few books that I read it all the time and over and over again, because those are principles that they never change. They never change no matter what you, or what your company is, they never change what the product is, no matter change what you're selling, they never change whatever, you know, it's just pure psychology, how to deal with people, you know, and their objections. Not only that, uh, it's in a discussion and, you know, when a person tells you like, uh, no, because of this reason, this reason, because sometimes you get, you hear them coming with a ton of reason that you'll be like, oh my God, I, I, I cannot show you this business because you are so busy. But again, that's when you say uh, also, like, if you just knew what I knew about this company, about what I saw from other people' reaction about all that stuff, you 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 would be in. you you will totally see the same way I see it and be in and join the, and join the company. But if you if you don't and they start with all those you know um, objection at the end, then it means you you didn't quite did the right job. You know you have to show them more uh, more material more uh, information about the business and um, you know once they see it they'll see it and uh, again it's with confidence it's with confidence posture you need to be there you need to show them that listen i don't care what you're going to decide after i'm showing you this i know that this is what i'm doing from that posture you know what if you show them that and like i said people feel that it doesn't matter what they're going to do you know, that 
their opinion doesn't really matter to you. You just want to make sure they know about it, you know, before they can make their own decision. And then if you do that, usually what happens, they totally, you know, ask for the link and want to join your team and, and be in business with you. And um, in any conversations like this, do not ever start arguing pro and contra with the prospect because it's never working, never working. You have to always agree with what they say. And even if you need sometimes, you know, applying the fear of low strategy, you know, take it away from them. That's also working. But you also can, because they give you so many arguments, like, right, you know, listen, this is why I'm right. But you know what? I rather am, you know, rich than I'm, than, than I'm, than I'm right. So if you do that, and again, that comes with your posture, with your confidence, which, you know, it's very energizing. It's coming out of you when you, when you are in front of a prospect. And if you do that, then absolutely, you know, the prospect will feel it. And the results will be the results will be absolutely phenomenal. Um, that uh, any any opportunity that you offer to people, you know, there'll be three categories. You know, some will say yes, some will say maybe, some will say no. Your confidence and your decision it does not matter what they say. This is always going to happen. Those three answers you're always going to have it. The only outcome of the results that you can change is by doing it with so many prospects, so many numbers of prospects that becomes a number game. And then when the ratio factor starts kicking in, then you're going to have the results of more yeses versus no. Because I rather speak with 100 people and I bet you that I'll sign more people than if you go and speak with 10 people. Because I know that if I just send the right information to the, to the person, to a, to, to a number of person, again, the number ratio will kick in and then the yes will be there. It's uh, also very important to, to know that, um, um, you know, this is a number game. Is the more people you speak with, and the more people you show it without you getting emotional or sentimentally attached about their answer, answer or their opinion, that you have your position, you have your mindset that you already has, you already know what you have. And that's why you also tell them, like I told you earlier, you know, if you just knew what I knew, you would be in the business, you know? Um, and then of course, after that, when they join and everything, you know, you help them, you hold their hands until, you know, they get going because they are like small babies. Very important, you got to introduce them to other people that are in the business so they don't see it's just you and them. You know, there are other people. That's why we have the Facebook group, the Global Opportunity Settlements. That's why we, you know, we try to keep there the whole energy and the whole you know, so people feel like it's not just, hey, it's just me and you. Oh, my God, we are the only one that sees it. No, there is so many other people that actually see it. And um, if they say maybe, you know, no problem. You know, mostly what I ask that, I really take it away a little bit from them by asking them, listen, how about if you know somebody else that's looking either for this type of product or maybe want to make some extra money or not happy what they're doing? Try to act like you already don't care about them. You already want to move past them and want to go to the next person they know. Sometimes people will give you just the name because they want you to stop bothering them and asking them. And then you don't want them, those people in your business anyway. Guess what? They'll be more than happy to give you two people's name, which you have another new prospects right now that you can work with. And guess what? If those two decides to come back and sign, then you go to this back with this person and say, hey, listen, your body wants to join. I guarantee you they will go in and sign 99% because they don't want their friends that they give to you join the business or join an opportunity and they're going to be out of it. So, you know, and they, they will be more than happy. And if they, you know, and the third category, if they say no, then no means not now. I always think about that. 
T from timing is bigger than T from talent. You know, this is so strong and so meaningful because the timing might not be good for that person. If the timing is not good, you don't have the power to change all that and everything. You just put it on the back burner, revisit it, drip on them. Don't call them every other day past that because they're not going to change like this. But, and most likely, if they see that you have success, if they see that in six months, you're already there. If they see that in six months, you don't talk to them on Facebook like you used to do because now you have other friends and they see you there, then they're going to call and come back and say, well, you know what, let me see that again. Or let me, you know, I have people that I showed this business last year in March when we first got super going in Europe and barely, barely started United States with Swedish shipping address. You know, what a nightmare that was, but hey, we did it. And, um, and uh, not only that, it was like, you know, people then, and they still see now today, they start contacting. Hey, you still doing that? Hey, what, what, what was your link? Or what was that, you know, are, are you still doing that? You can see how they coming because they see that you're there. They see that you committed. They see that you are, you know, your posture is there. And, um, and uh, this is how you, um, you know, you do what you believe in and you already convinced yourself. And, you know, again, stop convincing other people because the only person that you need to convince in this business is yourself. So by doing that, you'll be successful and you'll have very successful, um, you know, return on your uh, prospecting, on, on your sit downs with your prospects and uh, handling their objection, which the most well-known are, I don't have time and I don't have money. Okay, super. Thank you for the lesson for today. Let's go to some question and answer now regarding the business like we did last week. So if you have any questions, you can uh, put it here onto the uh, chat and I'll take them uh, one by one. You know, by the way, we have a new uh, breaking record for the attendance in the training, our third training uh, week for the Selements, new attendance record. So thank you everybody for showing up. So let's see who has uh, some questions regarding the business, regarding the back office, regarding, you know, um, everything else that uh, it might be here to help you and help others in the same time. Because, you know, a question coming from anybody might have answers for other people in the same situation. If I see no question, that means I did a phenomenal job. So, you know, I'm super happy, but I know I'm not that good. So, you know, don't mind. You can type there in the chat area and we can answer them. Okay. Any questions, you guys? No. Pam, phenomenal job, huh? <laughs> Very good. Well, was the, okay, we got one question. What was the name of the book again? So the name of the book was How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. You know, amazing book, amazing book, together with, uh, you know, Think and Grow Rich. Those two books should be in, the, in your nightstands all the time. And, you know, not read them, study them, you know. I have like maybe six copies of, things and grow rich that, you know, I read them all the time and I apply them to any, any types of anything you do in life, you know, I mean, they are such a great books, you know, they're not, you know, for DNA repair, how many sprays? The DNA repair should be what, three to five sprays, three to five sprays, evening and morning, you know, when you do your bathroom stuff, but I believe it also says in the back of the osis, but yeah, three to five sprays should be the, the amount. Of course, I mean, you can use as many as you want. And again, uh, don't forget on Wednesday, we have our webinar presentation, opportunity and presentation for Selements at nine o'clock, same link, same, bring your prospects there and bring them so we can show them, uh, we can, um, you know, show them how they can um, benefit the same you do. I just sold the rest, how many sprays for that. Okay, so rest, what I use, I use between three to six sprays, 15, 20 minutes before I wanna fall to sleep. So three to six sprays between 
um, 15 to 20 minutes before you want to fall to sleep. That's what I use. And that's, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it works different for, um, for everybody. Just try it and you see what, what works for you. Excuse me. Okay, when you get someone who's interested but hesitate, what's your, okay? So, you know, they are hesitant because, you know, you didn't, you didn't make them to, to like, okay, I mean. So that means you need to introduce them to somebody else in the business. That's why three-way are so, so powerful. And uh, three-way, I always think, you know, the minute the person is hesitant, I mean, you saw, when I first prospected you, Christina, I introduced you right away to Andesh, you know, I introduced you right away to other people in the team. And this is how you have to do it. You have to show them. And then maybe that person relates better with the other person that you introduce them to. Maybe they have something in common that you don't have. And this is how they relate. And this is how, you know, hesitate. It's, it's not far away from being in. It's just you need to fine tuning and um, it's easy to, to go from there. But the more, and you have usually with a three-way party or, or um, a three-way phone call, that's what you usually, you know, pretty much, because you ask them, okay, so what's the question or what's in the way right now? It keeps you away from, from signing and, and get going. And they, they will tell you, because usually they kind of know why they hesitate. When you come into Texas again, very soon, whenever you, dis you make the party and you have the party set up, I'll be over there. We'll do an amazing presentation. We're going to measure the bacteria. We're going to have all types of fun there. Focus, what's your marker? What's your can use that to show fork? Okay. I did not read that email yet, so I don't know what is that about. But uh, if it's a company email, yes, definitely you can show and do to anybody, but I didn't read it yet. I didn't then try to keep. Okay. Awesome. Yes, the clinical studies are on the biopacket.com page under the products. You go over there and there the, it says the clinical studies, and then you can link, click on that link and um, and it will, uh, it will show there the clinical studies. And of course, if it's, uh, you know, uh, for doctor offices, something more advanced and everything, then we can always uh, email office and we can have uh, our, um, you know, bio, um, biochemist department and Philip and, you know, help us to pretty nice present the situation to the medical office. They will be with it, will work on it. Right now we have all types of packs and everything, and we didn't sold out of those ones. And this is, you know, but I'm sure the packages are gonna be changed and gonna have different products and everything. Right now we have other things to focus on and um, it works totally fine the way it is right now. And um, nothing that will be changed in the near future. So the next big Salamence event is in uh, Michigan. It's gonna be with our CEO and founder, Anders Carlson, which is gonna be the August the 24th, it's a Saturday. It's a leadership training meeting at 12 o'clock p.m. And uh, flyers and information already on the Facebook page. It's gonna be a 12 o'clock leadership training and meeting. And then at two o'clock, the actually presentation, the biochemist, the director of resource and development for Solomons, Mr. Philip Williamson, is going to fly here together with uh, our CEO and founder, Anders Carlson. So they goes both, both going to be here at the meeting. We have already guests from Italy, from um, um, other countries from Europe that are going to be here already uh, getting ready. We have people from other cities already asking uh, where to stay and it's going to be probably the biggest settlements event that uh, took place in the United States so far. So yeah, be totally there, August 24th, Saturday in Detroit, Michigan. And we have the information 
platform uh, in the in the Facebook group. And if you don't find it, you know, contact your upline or your team or uh, myself, and we'll give you the information. Yes, we have some meeting in South California, and um, as we will, we love to have more meetings there. It just we have to put them together so we can have uh, people to present it to. So it's up to you guys there, put the event, the meetings together, and I'll be more than happy to fly there and do the presentation and, uh, and get your uh, area going. Because I mean, that Southern California is such a ripe market, you know? I mean, everybody with all the products we have, every single person should be joining Salamans. Okay, folks, so uh, with uh, how we like to keep our meetings short and sweet and to the subject, uh, again, next uh, two days, Wednesday at 9 p.m., same link, we're going to have opportunity presentation and product presentation, you know, um, join us with prospects and everything, don't just join yourself, you know, have at least one person, you know, don't try to bring 10, 20, just if you bring one, two, that's totally perfect. And this is how you grow your business, one by one. That being said, I'm going to conclude today's presentation. And we'll see you on Wednesday. And thank you very much for your attendance. Thank you very much. Good night.